Hello, it's Saturday morning, so let's go with some quick updates throughout this time-lapse video. This is not a video tutorial, but you can see the techniques I used to adjust the Arcane Stylized Shader into the final composition. Blender 3 Solid Release is out, and the Asset Browser will include the Fixie updates for the post library that we previously had on the previous Fixie release. This is a model that you can use to practice your own stylized shaders from the trainings that I previously posted here in this channel and also throughout WingFox Stylized 2D training course. In the WingFox video course training, part 5 will be released for the stylized 2D shaders in Blender, and this will be updated after January 20th. Hopefully, after January 20th, all of the shading uh, topics that we've been talking about, specifically for Unity, will be addressed, as well as some other methods that I really want to show you that I've been using a lot throughout the last year. Fixie will be getting an optimized model for game engines plus the post library for Blender 3. Speaking of asset browsing, the ice shaders will be completed and will be packed for Blender 3 asset browser so you can use them however you want because they are all free. In 2022, I will create a new Blender playlist on my channel. It will be about how you and Blender are valuable for the metaverse. Don't miss it out because I will upload crucial videos about Blender beyond the standard. If you are a patron in 2022, I am going to open a new tier to include your name credits in the short animation I will create. The interesting part is that it will be a streaming format for cinema as well as the blockchain. More details on February 5th, 2022. You might be wondering, Mr. Schiller, are you going to continue making tutorials for 2022? And the answer is yes, but only for Patreons and WinFox for the two new full 30 plus hours of training video courses that I will be releasing and they will be announced after January 20, 2022. One is about 2D and the other is for stylized characters. More details on this after January 20, 2022. Season 4 in this YouTube channel is going to focus on end results. I was so happy to see Blender is video from the Blender Foundation, and I saw how the community has grown with experience on different fields. I feel I've contributed with my own little grain of sand in this CG revolution with Blender. It is time for me to go back to the front lines and do completed CGI projects using 2D and 3D techniques. To showcase all Blender tools. And you may ask, what about commissions and client work? The answer is from February 20, 2022, I will only take one commission or client per month. In the past, I've done three to four per month, plus social media, plus Patreon content, and <laughs> YouTube uh, videos. So it was, it really burnt me out. One commission or client per month will allow me to focus in the content for the short movie I'm planning to do. And at last I'll be addressing the most uh, controversial topic of the moment right now in 2021 which is um, the NFT market plus the cryptocurrency things that are going around the, the artists because NFTs are not a fad. This let me tell you I've been researching since March of this year, I got a lot of invitations from, from very important CG influencers that told me, you know what, this is the next uh, big wave, it's going to change the industry and stuff like that. Well, up until this point, November, I'm sorry, December 2021, we've seen that uh, Pepsi, Disney, Nike, even big brands such as the NFL teams or Porsche have jumped into the NFT collection trend. So NFTs definitely are not a fad and NFTs right now are not being used uh, properly in regards of digital identity. This is something that you will not find on the web. This is something that I'm telling you right here with the uh, trust that we have on the channel and all of the content that I generate. Thank you so much for your support. By the way, your subscription is what keeps this fueled. So just to recap, NFTs are not used properly in regards of digital identity and ownership. But when the time comes, you'd be wondering how to play your cards right if you do your research now. Now. 
get to know the white papers behind this technology, uh, the protocols, liquidity pools, huge changes are coming to Web3 and they are important for society. On a closing note, I got other hardware and software plans for 2022 in regards of the metaverse. I'll be sharing those progress in Patreon exclusives. In conclusion, that is all I can say for now, but if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you will not miss any of those future videos. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and BFX compositor. And you know what? You should try Blender. Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.